deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. What are you stopping for? It's time to take my afternoon nap. Oh, for Pete's sake. Afternoon naps are for little kids. I've heard that before. Oh, a grown man taking a nap. It's embarrassing. Well, grown animals take naps. Well, you're no animal. No, but animals are smart. They rest while it's quiet, so they're alert for an emergency. I never thought of it that way. You know, there's a lot of things you've never thought of. All right, I'll give her a try. But I know I won't go to sleep. Hey, wake up. Hmm? Wake up. Who's the matter? There's gunshots over by the road. Get down. One step more and I'll let fly with this. The boss wants to see you. Ow! Are you little spit tech? <laughs> Don't sit down. Give me a hand with her. You let go of me, you big ape. We better get out of here. That's the Range Rider. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right, thanks. I'm... Now, take it easy. You're safe now. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go feminine on you. I just felt a little shaky all of a sudden. Do you recognize the men? No, Starkey has a lot of thugs on his payroll. Who's Starkey? He's the mayor of Sunrise, but he's a crook and a murderer. Well, what has he got against you? My father's running against him in the election. Well, in that case, Miss... Uh... Harper. Judy Harper. In that case, Miss Harper, maybe we better see that you get home. Judy's a wonderful name. Yes, but we don't oh, have... Oh, I'm glad you like it. Couldn't help but like it. Well, what's your name? Dick. Dick West. That's a nice name, too. Well, my father's name was West, and well, you know how those things are. They just decide to call me Dick. Huh? We don't have time for your life's history. Do you feel all right? Well, of course. You feel as though you could drive the buckboard home? Of course she can't. Can't you see what a mess she is? Uh, no, I mean, you're in no condition to drive. You take the horses. I'll take care of Miss Harper. Yes, sir. I knew Starkey was a swine, but I didn't think he'd try a low trick like this. I ought to get a gun and... Oh, don't be a fool, Jeff. He just itching to get you mixed up in a gunfight. What am I supposed to do, hire a bodyguard for Judy until this is over? I'll take that job for nothing. Thanks. Hey, look at it this way, Jeff. 
Just trying to kid that Judy shows we've got Starkey worried. He'd be a lot more worried if you were running against him. Oh, I wouldn't know beans about being mayor. You're the most respected man in Sunrise County. No, you... Look, I'm backing you because you're the man for the job. Now stop arguing. How did Starkey get to be mayor? Hmm? Folks were too lazy to vote. And when they woke up, they found that Starkey owned everything in town, including the judge and the sheriff. Well, they can vote him out, can't they? Not with Starkey counting the votes. Yeah, there must be something you can do. Well, we haven't had any luck so far. Well, maybe I can help. That's nice of you, Range Rider, but you don't live around here. Well, a man doesn't have to live in Sunrise in order to want to see a cook put behind bars. Well, how do you intend to do that? Well, I thought after I had a talk with him, maybe oh, I could... Oh, gosh. The only talk that Starkey knows comes from a six-gun. Well, that's what I mean. That's right into town, Dick. Huh? It's right into Sunrise. Well, yeah, but who's going to take care of Judy? Oh, I think Mr. Harper can take care of the situation until you get back. Well, Judy, it, it's, it's sure been wonderful. And, well, I mean, well, don't you worry about a thing, because I'm going to be right back. Hey. Yeah! <laughs> I'd better go in with you. No sense in putting all our eggs in one basket. Oh, I got you. It's them, all right. Come on. So you're Starkey. That's right. What do you want? Well, a couple of your hired boys threatened Jed Harper's daughter this morning. Well, how do you know they were my men? I don't think I'd have too much trouble proving it. Then why don't you take it to the sheriff? What good would that do? Well, he's pretty good at spotting phony evidence. Especially when he's paid to. I understand you run this town pretty much to suit yourself. People who believe everything they hear usually get into trouble. I'll take my chances. Yeah. Don't look at me now, just listen. Huh? That pal of yours is in danger. Not now. I just want to warn him. Of what? It's not safe to talk here. Follow me. Come on, kid. If Starkey knew I was talking to you, he'd skin me alive. Come on, before somebody sees you. This better not be a trick, mister. I'm on a level, kid. I ain't even got a gun. Okay, what's on your mind? I'll tell you, Starkey's playing in a dry gulch. When? As soon as you and the Range Rider leave town, he and the gang is going to take the shortcut and be waiting for you. <laughs> Listen, Buster, you're not dealing with a bunch of two-bit road agents. I get this town organized, I'm going to keep it that way. Now get out of here, but... Say, we had a heck of an argument. You know, Starkey, if I were you, I'd hire just a little bit tougher grade of skunk. We'll see you when you get better organized. Come on, champ. Slong, so Mayor. Come back here. Yeah, but boss, you're not gonna let him get away with that, are you? I just got an idea. We're gonna kill three birds with one shot. Three? Well, there's only two of them. Yeah, I know. But we're gonna make it a three.
Hey, we got him cornered. Yeah. Maybe we ought to... You all right? Yeah. Looks like he's dead, all right. Yep. Who is he? I don't know. I wonder who it is. It's Bradley. But that doesn't make sense. Why would he try to bushwhack us? We're on the same side. Maybe we weren't. What do you mean? Well, maybe Bradley and Starkey were working together. Well, gee whiz, if well, how else are you going to figure it out? Between the two of them, they got the whole town double-crossed and hogtied. Let's get him out of here. Where to? Take him over to the Harper place. I want to tell Jed about this right away. Take up that blanket. What happened? It's Hank Bradley. Is he hurt bad? He isn't hurt, Mr. Harper. He's dead. Dead? Oh, no. Starkey. They must have got him on the way to town. The dirty little... Starkey down. didn't kill him. But Starkey didn't? Who did? I did. You? He tried to ambush Dickie and me on the way here. You're crazy. No, that's right, Mr. Harper. He tried to kill us. Oh, that's impossible. He wouldn't do a thing like that. It's true, Judy. I know it's hard to believe, but Bradley and Starkey must have been in cahoots. I don't believe it. Hank's never done a dishonest thing in his life. He couldn't. And why did he shoot at us? You claim he shot first? I know he did. Put your hands up. Both of you. Get their guns. What's the idea? You're lying. This gun hasn't been fired for weeks. Why, it had to be. It was the only gun who... You were very anxious to see Starkey, weren't you? How much did he pay you? What a punch. Keep your hands up. All right, then listen. If I killed Bradley and got paid for it, why would I come back here? To tell a cock and bull story to discredit him. Now turn around. I'm taking you to the sheriff. All right. Take me back to the shack and I'll prove I'm right. You're guilty. I've got all the evidence I need. Well, if Bradley didn't ambush us, then this whole thing's a frame-up. You're wasting your time, Sheriff. Lock him up. You're not fooling anyone, Starkey. But this time you bit off too much. These two are gonna hang or... They'll hang, all right. Don't worry about that. What are you talking about? Dickie's just a witness. You can't even lock him up. Who says I can't? The law. You've got nothing on him. Maybe so, but... But what? I thought you stood for law and order. Well, the Sheriff does. You had no reason to hold the kid, had you? But I thought you wanted to... Well, no. I guess he can go if he doesn't leave the county. I'm not even gonna leave town till I get this whole thing straightened out. But you better get out of here before they change their mind. Okay, partner, but don't you worry. Dick. Oh, I thought at least you'd believe in us. Excuse me.
Hoist them, kid. You don't think the boss lets you out of jail for nothing, do you? So what? What do you want? Now, you see, the boss built a nice little frame for your pal. But he don't want to test in court. No, I'll bet he doesn't. So your pal's gonna get killed, trying to bust out of jail. Oh, he wouldn't fall for an old gag like that. He will, if he thinks you're helping him. We're gonna slip him your gun. My gun? Yeah. Only it'll be loaded with blanks. And we'll be outside instead of you. Get that rope and let's tie him up. You get the gun? Yeah. Good. Here's one of his socks. We tied him up tighter in a fat lady's corset. We should have got rid of him. No, I'll need him again if this scheme doesn't work. All right, you all know your positions and get going. Remember, you have nothing to worry about. This guy will be shooting blanks. And I'll join you up on the roof as soon as I give him this. Thank you, Dick. What do you want? Open up. Where did you get? Just open up. Inside and lay down. Gun, it's a good idea, you know? These are the sheriff's bullets. Oh. How do you feel? Oh, I'll be all right. There's a couple more up on the roof. Won't be there long.
Strange Rider, I certainly owe you an apology. I hope you'll accept it. Well, we were both taken in, but that frame-up was a good one. The town wants to give you and Dick some kind of a reward for cleaning out Stark and his gang. Hope you'll accept that, too. Well, I don't want to reward Jed. And as for Dick, well, looks like he's got his. You know, this shoulder might be pretty bad, but there's sure nothing wrong with this one. Well, that's good. Um, what I mean is, well, you know, when, when, a, when a fella, well, what I'm trying to say is... I don't know what you want to say, but keep on trying. Gosh, mental telepathy.